Well, that was a good result. 3 0 um, last night against um, Bate Borisov. 3 uh, 1 on aggregate, and that puts us through to the next round uh, where we play Rain. Um, so, yeah, good result, good draw, and it was a very good performance. Well, good performance, professional performance, very controlled. Um, had a couple of moments, especially in the first half. Um, um, Borisov had one off the line where if that went in, you could probably the tension would have rose even more. Um, it was quite nervy. Um, I felt the stadium was quite nervous. Um, uh, the, the the fans were, um, I have to admit, very quiet. Um, but yeah, um, Ozil, everyone's talking about him. Uh, everyone was talking about him on AFTV. Um, and it's, everyone's, uh, I don't want it dividing everyone. Um, because we had so much division last year with Wenger, um, but he would he was a good performance. Um, what I did see was that yes, he would pick up the ball in the middle of the field, but when we went to go forward, he wasn't running with the forwards. He wasn't um, from what I saw um, when we wanted to go and attack and cross the ball in. He was still coming up behind, and he wasn't right behind where Bam where he should be, which is right behind Abamian, which is frustrating because if you're a creative player, you need that creative player behind the striker to create the chance. Um, yes, I do get um, so, uh, some people mention about his movement off the ball, and yes, his movement off the ball can be exceptional at times, and it creates space. Um, but yeah, I would like. To, um, Though it was a solid performance, I do think he needs to prove that on the Premier League level. I think um, having a good performance at Batty Borisov and then even just going to Southampton and then playing a, a good performance are two totally different things. Um, we just need to see that on a more constant basis. If he does it more constantly, then my view will change. I will give him the benefit of the doubt. If he is going to... Um, do that once in a blue moon and not on a big game as well then obviously that's going to divide opinion um, do I think we can get better out there? yes, possibly um, could we then use the money we gain back to invest in the defence? yes, definitely but yeah um, despite that it was a good performance um, Finally, I noticed that in a minute we are quite hesitant and when we go forward and we try to overplay it. I do remember times with Veng uh, back in Wenger's era, we sometimes try to walk the ball into the net. And the first time they put the ball in the box, it was a Bamian putting the ball in the box and it was an own goal. So I think they just need to where you would get a Man United or Man City or Liverpool or just put the ball in the box straight away. We need to be just more confident in just throwing the ball in the box because that own goal, no one was in the box at the time when he, when he went in. So you don't put it in that danger area. With nine times out of ten, you're not going to score a goal um, unless you have a worldie from outside. So, yeah, it's just being more confident and having a bit more fluidity without the play um, and I'm hoping that will come come over the next few games because obviously the next few games are going to be uh, hard to to um, yeah hard to sorry um, to play uh, you've got Man United and then Tottenham um, coming up uh, which are going to be big big games Man United it's going to be a key game uh, for us. Part of me thinks it's going to decide top four. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, that can change swings and roundabouts and everything. Um, I still hope. I hope we can get top four. Am I confident we will? I'm not so. Um, but yeah, we'll wait and see. Um, so yeah, um, good result. We're through. Um, can focus on 
uh, the next game, Southampton, and also the next round of um, playing Red, which we should be able to win and get into the quarterfinals. And then it will get really tasty with the teams that left that left in the competition. Um, yeah, so as I said, uh, massive support to anyone uh, to everyone who does watch this. Um, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, yeah, and I'll speak to you guys soon with uh, a review of testing of the F1 testing um, in Barcelona.